on, hold on. It's not even close. Where's the sun? You gotta stand here. Tell okay. me, what'd you get? Because I don't know. Uh, Janelle 440. Oh, not that boat. No. no <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Yeah. Hi, this is Paul Fang with another episode of Janot Underway. For Tom and Karen Grimet, they knew a new boat was in their future just as soon as the time was right and the right boat came along. As it turned out, the right time proved to be the fall of 2017 and the right boat, the beautiful new Sun Odyssey 440. The only decision left to make was where. Where should they take delivery? In their home waters of the USA? or perhaps someplace new and exciting, like Southern France. It was really funny. We would um, go to our iPad and take over for each other when we were on the helm. Um, and I would realize he was searching for boats. And, I, and he would realize I was searching for boats. <laughs> so we'd look at each other's browser history and realize that, um, oh, We interesting. both had the same idea. <laughs> and when, the 440 came out, we just really wanted to see it because we want to be able to sail for a long time. Um, and, you know, we're mid 50s and as we start getting older, if we have any injuries, um, there's a lot of accommodation in the 440 for making it comfortable for, for long term yeah. as, as you age, as well as, you know, the very comfortable and spacious cockpit that's incredible to entertain before you age too much. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, when we were talking about buying the boat and we, and he said, well, you know, where would you want to take delivery? And, you know, we were thinking, well, New England or somewhere like that. And then we said, well, actually, you know, we've always wanted to sail in the Mediterranean. Um, do you do that kind of, I mean, the boat's made in France, so could we take delivery? He goes, sure, yeah, I've done it for a previous customer of ours. And we're like, well, that takes care of that problem. <laughs> Before we get too far down the channel talking about the new boat, it's important to know that Tom and Karen are no strangers to Janot. Having owned a Sunkiss 47 for 10 years, and which they cruised on extensively prior to trading it in on the 440. We had a smaller boat before that. We had a 32-foot um, Pearson, and uh, we kind of wanted to move up to something a little bit bigger because we had plans to take our kids on a, take them out of school for a year and. Um, go to sail down to the Caribbean, sort of take some time off before they got too old and didn't want to spend time with us anymore. <laughs> we left both our jobs and uh, took off for 13 months and yeah, yeah, yeah. So we went up north up into Nova Scotia for a couple months because uh, we left in June and you can't go down the Caribbean in June unless you have a, you know, um, a bit of a death wish. Death wish, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're up in Nova Scotia and then we came back down the coast and we were part of the Caribbean 1500 rally. It leaves from Virginia and we sailed down to the British Virgin Islands. So we had six months down there homeschooling our kids and just discovering the islands down there. It was, it was awesome. Tom and Karen would end up taking delivery of their new boat, Sea Rose, in the small port of Canet, along France's southern coast, in the spring of 2018. And soon after, they would set out to explore the beautiful and often unpredictable Mediterranean Sea. We 
we, we launched along the coast, the Mediterranean French coast in Canet, just north of the Spanish border. And uh, you know, after all the commissioning was done, we took off and we sailed over into the Balearic Islands, into Mallorca, and uh, had a couple friends visit us there. And it was great kind of getting to know the boat and in warm climates and, you know, beautiful coves and all that kind of stuff. I mean, the island of Mallorca is, is it's impressive. It's got so much natural beauty and large cliffs and it's very mountainous. And we knew nothing about this. We just had heard about Mallorca being a popular place for Europeans to go for summer vacation. And there are beaches there and there's all that. It's nice, but the sailing is just tremendous there. And it kind of gave us a chance to sort of, you know, get broken in and uh, learn about the boat and get learn about the Mediterranean and what that's like. So. Okay, it's been 17 and a half hours since we left Kenne. We left at 3 o'clock in the morning and it's about 8.30 right now. We're rushing around trying to find a place to anchor. Um, a little hard to see in the sun, but that island over there looked promising, but the anchorage was pretty exposed. And From Mallorca, they would sail to neighboring Menorca before crossing back to France, where they would cruise east along the French Riviera before making the crossing to Corsica, then down the coast of Sardinia and eventually to Sorrento on the west coast of Italy. And then we went up over, um, back along the coast of France a little ways um, and jumped over to Corsica. Uh, we did the west coast of Corsica. Uh, we crossed through the Bonifacio Straits and did the eastern coast of Sardinia. And that was and, beautiful. Um, yeah, that, was, that whole area was just great. Just natural beauty. Stunning. Uh, and then we went up and explored. We, we had found at that point the marina that we wanted to keep our boat at for that first winter. Um, we had heard a lot of people recommend this, so we knew we were going to end that season in the center western coast of Italy, um, between um, near Naples. Um, and so we decided to explore the Tuscan Islands um, and yeah. then back down to the... Um, Cinque Terre, you mean? Uh, Cinque Terre and then back down to the, uh, ah, Sorrento. Oh, um, uh, the Amalfi Coast. Amalfi Coast, how do you forget <laughs> that one? So um, that's where we ended up our season the first year, left our boat in, in Italy there. <laughs> For me, I've always enjoyed traveling outside the United States, meeting new people and discovering new cultures along the way. And so I was interested to know what it was like for Tom and Karen to sail in unfamiliar waters, slightly off the beaten path. There's not Walmarts everywhere, you know, and it's, it's uh, you're not necessarily in your comfort zone all the time, and it's kind of nice to sort of experience that and then you kind of look on your own home when you come back in a new and totally different way you know I think we opened the door to our house when we came back and we're like this house is so huge you know why do we need all this space <laughs> yeah so just the scale of everything was kind of wild yeah yeah with a drone last night and it fell in the water for only a few seconds but it was long enough to, to toast it I think. Something Tom and Karen have been doing since before they owned Sea Rose is documenting their sailing adventures on video and posting them to their YouTube channel Life 4.0. Their videos are both informative and enjoyable but I had to ask so what's with the name? Our Life 4.0 YouTube channel is, we feel like this is sort of the, our fourth phase of our, our life together. Our first one, um, you know, Tom and Karen 1.0 was dating, pre-kids, having a great time. Um, 
you know, 2.0 was early married life, traveling around, getting the travel bug. Uh, 3.0 was having kids and raising, raising them, them yeah. and experiencing all of that, slowing down a little bit more to a local life other than the one year that we took away. And 4.0 is now our time to get back into areas of passion for us, yeah. where we can uh, explore the globe on our boat and um, just really, you know, get to know other cultures, get to know other flavors and smells and tastes and all of that. So. Yeah. Well, I certainly enjoyed my time talking with Tom and Karen. They have now spent three summers cruising the Med and plan to return next summer in 2021. Be sure to subscribe to their YouTube channel where you can follow their adventures in detail. For the Genot Channel, this is Paul Fenn, and I'll see you next time right here on Genot Underway.